go through all this with you. Um, your harness is done. I've actually test run it already. Runs great. Um, so, start on this side. You had a lot of connectors that needed to be replaced on this. Okay, so your idle control valve, this used to run underneath your intake manifold, okay? So it used to come out of here, run through the bottom of the whole plastic thing and whatnot. All of that's been removed. It all runs down this side now, so it's basically the same configuration as what you would find on a 95 type of type of 1UZ, okay? So, idle, idle control valve, okay? Coil connector's been replaced. Um, you've got a flat terminal for your temperature for your dashboard. Okay, this is a 95 motor, so it's got a different connector on there, so I can't, there's no need to plug that in. Um, under here, you have got, difficult to see, you got your water temp sensor, okay? New connector on there. And you've got a, another gray connector in here, which is for your, can't get it out. But yeah, there's a gray connector, two pin, two pin gray connector in there that goes to your cold start. There it is. Cold start timer. Okay, so that's all in there for you. Running around here, you've got a split that runs down. This goes, we add this in. Okay. It runs down and it plugs into your into your alternator okay we don't stock the round connector i'm pretty sure on yours you've got a round connector um, we only stock the oval ones a lot of the guys replace the alternator with the newer ones um, they've got the round one um, it may be a good idea because you know they they are pretty old i mean yours is a what a 91 so yeah you're talking two decades old it may be it may be a good thing to invest in a in an alternator and when you do then rather get the then rather get the, the 95 okay i think it was actually 94 to 90 well basically 94 all the way through 3z all of them are exactly the same okay all of your injector connectors have been replaced with the new ones okay so that's all there there was nothing wrong with your with your throttle position sensor so that's all there okay um running down here this is your main battery positive so that goes directly, this is your main power supply for the system, okay? Then over here you've got a earth strap, okay? And then this branch coming down, runs down and it goes to your right hand O2 sensor, okay? Running down here, it comes out as a T and that runs through to your two igniters. Don't put your igniters on the engine because of heat transfer from the motor. It's, there's no point in applying additional heat to them. So these need to be grounded and um, you should just put them on your wheel well or something like that, okay? On, on the body, just make sure that it's got a proper ground to the bracket that holds them, okay? And then obviously your airflow meter, okay? It's your connector for your airflow meter. Running around here, so the only thing you got coming out of the back now is basically that connector which goes to your cold start injector. Okay, so we've left that in there for you. That was all discontinued on the newer motors. Okay, so it's up to you if you want to use that or not. Um, three pin connector for your for your knock sensors and for your starter, uh, starter solenoid. Okay, so that's a standard connector. Same thing here, you've got all of your injector connectors have been replaced, your six pin connector here has been replaced. You know, and I've replaced this with a four, I just need to put two terminals in there, or not terminals, but two seals in there for you because I don't stock the two pin, I only stock the four pin. Okay, so both on this side of the harness and on your other side of the harness, your front section of harness have been replaced for the four pin, okay? And then this is another another add-on that we put in just to make it easy so on your client plug you basically got everything. So this goes down and it plugs into your oil pressure switch. Okay, that's basically it as far as what the harness goes um, coming down here you obviously have your integrated on your fuse box right so inside your fuse box you have let's get rid of this lid you've got your 
EFI relay, you've got your main relay, so the one's controlled by your ECU, the other one's controlled by your ignition. Okay, it's all built into the system, so you don't have to worry about that. You've only got one ignition wire for you to connect up. Um, you've got two relays, one for fuel pump priming, so we basically put that in every system, regardless of how it's been wired. Okay, sometimes it, the fuel pump gets controlled via the ECU, other times it gets controlled by oil pressure. Okay, we kind of like the oil pressure thing because it's just acts as a safeguard, not, not that these engines have any kind of problem with oil pressure, but, um, but yeah, it's another way of doing it. And uh, then you got your starter relay. Yours is a non-VVT, so you're only running five of the six fuses, and you have got your engine light over there, which is in the form of an LED, and then you've got these two, these two terminals. So that one on the inner is basically a ground, okay, so E1, and that one over there is TEI. So if you ground those, or not ground them, if you put a bridge wire in there and switch your ignition on, you'll find that this LED will start flashing um, out OBD1 trouble codes. Okay. Very simple. It's all in your welcome pack. Okay. Over here, this is your client plug. So you've basically got seven wires that you're going to connect to your vehicle. Okay. So that's fuel, ignition, start, rev counter, temperature gauge, oil light, charge light. Okay, these two at the bottom are these two blue ones, or blue and blue with white. Those are AC and ACMG. I don't particularly advise using that. There's other ways of going about connecting idle. It's basically for idle up when your air, when your uh, air conditioning compressor kicks on and off. Um, there's other ways of achieving that and actually being able to control exactly how much air is going into the system. But um, we can go through that, right? And then coming down here, you've got your ECU. Okay, so your grommet over here, I've left that so that you can move it up and down the harness, so wherever you need it to be. Okay, um, and that basically covers all of that. You have a tube over here that is part of your ventilation system. Now, a lot of people screw this up. This has to go onto your throttle body. You'll see this little pipe underneath your throttle body. It basically takes air from the outer side of your butterfly valve. So in other words, the air that's going into this is being calculated by the airflow meter. Okay, same thing as your idle control valve. This pipe also has to be connected between your throttle body and your airflow meter. So the air that goes into your motor is all being calculated by the, by the airflow. Okay, we'll buy the um, It goes in that side and it comes out the side. Okay, so this is your PCV valve and it's going to go through here and it's going to go into your intake chamber. A lot of guys take this off. This is your EGR. Okay, so you buy a block off plate and you basically you've got to make sure that this nipple is in there. If it's not, install one. When you take this off, you'll see there's got three holes that go into it, right? So just make sure that this one on the right hand side, it's a small one, that is connected and it's open so that it can pull air through the PCV valve. Okay, blocking off here at the back, I mean, I don't know if you've bought a, a delete kit or whatever, um, you can basically just cut the flanges off your original pipe work and just thread it and put a bolt through it. Okay, or you can just weld it closed, quite frankly. This is just a through pipe so you can do the same thing there or you can just leave it open either way and then same thing on your on your actual exhaust manifold okay so removing that is not a big issue at all okay so what i'll do is i will put on the throttle body and put on the airbox and um then i will get a up and running for you that's right basically put on the put on the air Air intake, put on the throttle body and put on the airflow meter. Okay. Um, let's give her a let's give her a run. Right, it's basically gonna be ignition.
She runs good. She runs good. You got any questions? You give me a shout. But yeah, you should have no problems.